May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clean and purify Masjid al-Aqsa from the filth of the Yahud. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clean Afghanistan and Iraq and all of the lands from the filth of the Kafirun. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala manifested through the life of Salah al-Din, Rahimahullah, He manifested the example of Islam. It is hard for us, but we need to go back in history and realize that over 90 years, there was no Adhan in Jerusalem. There was no Jumu'ah. They used the masjid for their horses and their pigs. Wine was poured in the masjids. So the evil spirit that we see today, it happened before and it will continue to happen until the day of resurrection. What is our response? The response of Salah al-Din, who in 1187 took the city and he entered the city on the day of Mi'raj. He entered on the day of Mi'raj, in the Jumu'ah. And the Jumu'ah was established. And the Muslims felt the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And realized that Nasrullah is Qareeb. The, the help of Allah is close. It is not far away. But it is for us to repair ourselves. Repair ourselves. Go back to our actions, our own personal actions. And secondly, as Salah al-Din rahimahullah did, then work with the faith. What are the lines of our faith? Are we worshipping people? Are we making gods out of our leaders? Are we making a god of the, out of the Prophet Wasallam? The Prophet, peace be upon him, on his deathbed, he, he pulled back the covers and he said, the curse of Allah, la'natullahi al-Yahudi wa nasara, ittakadu qubur anbiya'ihim masajid. The curse of Allah is on the Christians and the Jews who took the graves of their prophets as houses of worship. He said, don't worship me when I go. Don't do to me what they did to Isa alayhi salam. Don't do it to me. And so we need to straighten our lines of faith. Connect ourselves with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then work in unity with the Muslims. Even if we don't fully agree with each other, still embrace your brother. Embrace your sister. We may disagree on some points. But that's your brother. That's a Muslim. His life, his wealth, it is haram. And if the Muslims are suffering in China, I suffer. If they are suffering in Philistine, I am supposed to suffer. If they are suffering in the Sudan, I am supposed to suffer. If they are suffering in Kailicha, anywhere, we are all supposed to feel that suffering. This is the example of Salah al-Din. He struggled until the last breath in his body. And he showed the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But justice, justice has to be established. So we need to respond to what is going on and to prepare our children and our children's children for a long struggle. Because an evil spirit has come over the people of the book. It has come over people who claim that they follow messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we need to take that stand, remember the example of Salah al-Din rahimahullah, and continue to go forward and forward and forward until either Allah gives us victory or He gives us paradise. Continue to go forward and forward and forward until either Allah gives us victory or He gives us paradise. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clean and purify Masjid al-Aqsa from the filth of the Yahud. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clean Afghanistan and Iraq and all of the lands from the filth of the Kafirun. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the strength to take a stand in our own life and to stand up for La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu And may Allah make this our last word, that the kalima would be our last word, that it would be our best words and that Allah would forgive us, for we know not what we do. Aqulu qawli hadha, wa astaghfirullahi wa lakum, wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.